trust and character in the interim. I mean, who you choose to be around you, but you know who you are. Green and I have known each other for, we've been dating for about four years. It'll be four years the day after the wedding. We went to high school together. We started talking, she slid in my DMs on Twitter. You know, we just started hanging out. And, you know, about a month or so later, started officially dating. Connor and I started dating um, when I DMed him on Twitter because he was talking about his cars and I was like, it's kind of cool. We both went to the same high school, so I met him there and years later I DMed him on Twitter and was like, hey. What's up? <laughs> and then we start dating. <laughs> My favorite things about Brie are she's wonderful with kids, so I know that's gonna come as a plus in the future. Um, she's super supportive of all my business endeavors and whatever I wanna pursue next. Yeah, I mean, she's just wonderful in every, every way. So my favorite things about Connor, oh am cry, he's very, He's so sweet. He is so supportive of whatever I want to do, even if that's nothing. He's just really so kind and sweet and amazing, and those are the same three words, but that's really all I have to say to describe him. He's just amazing. I think the moment I knew she was the one, it was, I think we were dating for about two years, and like we both kind of knew like we we're gonna end up getting married. After my sister passed away, he was there for me, and I was, like, it just felt right. Like, it just felt like he was brought into my life at that time, because I needed it. I think the one thing I'd have to say to her before the ceremony is, we're going to make the best of it uh, next couple decades and whatever bumps come in our way, we're gonna go right over them. We're gonna be there for each other all the time, so. I love you so much, and I really can't wait for us to start our life together. Good evening, everyone. Anna and Connor would like to welcome you to their wedding. So, my name's Tom. I'm uh, Connor's uncle. I've known Anna since they started dating. I've known Connor since he was four or five. Life has lots of big moments. There's thousands of little moments as well. Those mark your time together. The life you've had, the life you've spent. I think the trick is to find joy in life and marriage and those little shared moments that you have with each other. Lots of big moments happen, but that just marks the days. Little moments mark your life. I'm so grateful to you. You have made my life so incredibly wonderful in so many different ways. And while I'm so grateful to you for all of those things, I don't think that I think you for the gift that I cherish the most. And it's the feeling that you've given me. <laughs> the at-home feeling. The feeling I get whenever you're around. The feeling that makes me feel like I belong. <laughs> the feeling that no matter what happens, I have you, and that means that we're gonna be okay. Connor, you are the love of my life, and I promise to spend the rest of my life loving you, supporting you, and trying to give you that same sense of home that you've given me. I love you. Good luck, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Anna, from the moment we first started talking, you always found a way to make me smile. Every day you make me happier than I was the day before. I can't imagine life without you, where I don't get to wake up next to you each day and call you mine. It's weird to think all the memories that we've had, and all the good times we've had already, but we're just getting started in our journey through life. 
I suppose we really do live our lives a quarter mile at a time. <laughs> <laughs> Only time will tell where else we will travel, travel to and the amazing things we'll accomplish together. From this moment forward, I promise I will support you, cherish every moment we have together, and do your taxes for you. Thank God. <laughs> I love you. Anna, Connor, you have come here today of your own free will and in the presence of family and friends, have declared your love and commitment to each other, and have each given and received a ring as a symbol of your promises. By the power of your love and commitment to each other and by the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. Okay, friends and family, I now present to you Mr. and Mrs. Mullen. everybody. So for those of you who don't know me, my name's Kara. I'm a friend of the Mullins. One thing that I really, really admire about your guys' relationship is your ability to always make each other laugh. Marriage isn't a joke, but laughter really is medicine. Connor, I want you to remember to always give Bree a strong arm, a sympathetic ear, and access to your credit card. And Brie, I always want you to support Connor, mentally, emotionally, and physically. I'm Nathan, I'm the best man for tonight. Both of you are so supportive and encouraging towards each other. And Anna, you're so kind. You have the biggest heart that I've ever met. Lastly, I love that I could always be myself around you. I never felt like I had to, to put on a front. I'd like to end my speech with a short quote from one of their favorite movies, which is of course Fast and Furious, Tokyo Drift. Some of you might know this line. It's trust and character I need around me. Who you choose to be around you lets you know who you are. Anna and Connor, I think you two are the perfect duo. So on that note, if we could all raise our glass to Connor and Bree. Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Mullen. Congratulations, Anna and Connor. choices and you don't look back.